know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. Yeah. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Oh, nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first because if you don't, they won't. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited, ready to get down. Feeling good, Harry. How you doing? You ready to rock and doing roll? Doing good. I'm still trying to get my new catchphrase going. Uh, how about this one? Death to America, everybody. What's up? <laughs> oh, shit. Is that not no good? Uh, ISIS Harry. Okay. I think that one's going to catch on. It <laughs> used to so. be ISIS. It used to be ISIS. Now it's inside. I could be ISIS or I could be a member of the Republican Party. I could be a I could be a white dude from Oklahoma. Yeah, Facts. same thing. Death to yep. America used to have some weight to it internationally, but now and all I gotta do is uh, cut AOC's head off. The yeah. Same thing. Same thing. Fine, whatever. I'll, I'll tone it down. <laughs> Death to the West. Okay, are you guys happy now? I'm just trying to get. I just trying to find something to put on a T-shirt, guys. <laughs> What's going on, yo, Dre? You ready, to rock and roll, my nigga? I'm ready to rock and roll with I the am too, technologies I'm that I have available to me. Oh, Nobody yeah. knew, son. Shut up. Uh, they they, they, they can't tell it different. The resolution uh, on the iPhone is dope. Nobody knew. <laughs> Yeah, the sound though is not dope. It does sound like he's talking through a paper <laughs> bag, but it's because his laptop. I don't know what it is. You used the phone before. It's been better sound. But what's the background you picked, Dre? What's the background? <laughs> oh, these are an assortment of different images that I've created, and I put them together as a little collage. Oh, uh, one is a truck yard. There, let's see. Uh, why do you why do you quiver your lip when you say collage like that? Because that makes it artful. Oh, okay. It looks like you're trying to suppress a sneeze, but fair enough. <laughs> Either or, if you want to see any of this activity, you could go to Man School 202 YouTube channel. <laughs> Either that or funny. fucking Jay had a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> suppress the sneeze. Suppress the sneeze. But uh, unfortunately, like Andre's laptop is on the fritz. His laptop might be going away. I mean, it's Damn, in a hospital. It's it might be going to say goodbye. It, might, it got caught up in COVID. Yeah. His Your laptop kind. got COVID. <laughs> Yo, man, you should have put a mask on that laptop, that Andre. You, you got to stop not masking your, your your laptop, son. Nah, nigga, I had the whole case on the joint. I don't know what happened, son. I tried to become a better person, and the laptop was like, not today, bro. It couldn't handle it. The laptop couldn't not handle yet. the nice treatment. It wasn't used to being treated nice. It's used to having, like, uh, uh Oh, you heat. saying I got a brackish <laughs> laptop? Yeah. Yo, man. You used to put coffee cups, <laughs> or coffee cups on top of the laptop. Just reckless. Put your feet on top of that thing. Yeah, I need to be Googling freak shit so I can get back onto normal course. Yeah, Andre is, Andre is uh, Googling bestiality. That's what's wrong with that thing. <laughs> I need, yeah, I need to put some weirdo shit on it so it can act normal or something. I don't know. <sighs> There's there some go. some blonde chick by the beach fucking a German shepherd. That's what it is. <laughs> this, that's what's fucking up your your whatever. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Harry, do the honest, my friend, because this, right. this, this, this is a friend of the family. Come on now. This is a, a disciple of the show, a friend of the show, a former guest, now returner, making his second appearance here. Uh, actor, uh, aspiring comedian, working comedian, uh, professional wrestler, uh, podcaster, host of Evolving with Corey Castle, ladies and gentlemen, the Corey Castle. Oh, yeah, hey. yeah, hey, yeah, up? yeah, 
Good to be back. Great seeing you guys again, for real. Good to have you. Got to what? What kind of what do we got going on? Oh, that's the your your logo for your uh, podcast and shit. Yeah, well, yeah, it's it's a uh, one of the one of the older logos. Uh, my my friend got it for me for for uh, for my birthday and Christmas combined. You know, you right. get ripped off when you got a December birthday. People just yeah, go, "Oh, your yeah. birthday and Christmas, you get them both." Yeah, or yeah. Oh, yeah. I got a couple more yeah. I used to do it. I used to get that with mothers. My my birthday falls on Mother's Day a lot, right. and everybody would just go take care of my moms and leave me by myself. Oh, <laughs> I mean, that is not the same thing at all, Dante. Yeah, that's not even related. You don't even similar, get one similar th- similar thing, Dante. My birthday I share with my mother. Oh, oh yeah. No. So when it came to our birthday, they'd be like, "Happy birthday, dear!" Blah, 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 and everybody uh, would be yeah. saying all different names. Uh that sucks. Yeah, what are you gonna do? I mean, the world sucks. It's falling apart anyway. So who gives a fuck? We're all gonna <laughs> die. Soon. Mom, though. We're all gonna die soon. It's gonna be fine. Uh it's good to see you, brother. Good to see you. Good to see you, man. It's really good to see you. Got my peoples here. I'm, I'm a little. I'm a little under the weather, but. I'm uh I, I, sometimes that makes me uh, a little more precise in my in my uh my diagnosis. Oh, okay. Under the weather, much you more get sense and precise about what I'm uh. Well, you know how you lose your sense. I don't of know smell when Andre then... started working for CNN. Yeah. but all right. This <laughs> 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 is Jake Tapper. All of a sudden, Andre is Jake Rapper. <laughs> Andre's asking the hard questions here. God damn! I don't want anybody's right. right. <laughs> What? Why? And who? And who, the last friend? four your social security number two, nigga. I want it all. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> I'm just like, saying shit like cut the malarkey. I'm going to be like, where were you on the night of? I'm like, nigga, you're not even a detective. Yeah. Shut up. Not yet. You do have a you do have a detective hoodie on today. And, a, and if I shave off the rest of this, just leave the stash. I got police face. You got police <laughs> face? Right. I got 1980s police face. You don't I even know 1980s police face. Nigga, I've seen movies from I the past. I can see Danny <laughs> Yeah, you could still watch him. He's right. You can't still watch him. <laughs> Damn it, man. I, I, I just still think that pimps look like Antonio Fargus from watching I old, uh, old TV. I pimps like that. <laughs> Andre Pimps started close. Look as fun anymore. <laughs> Andre starts closing his set out with, "I'm getting too old for this shit." I'm getting too old. Yeah, for you're like, what are you talking about, Andre? You're not even thirty. Ah. That is my sentiment, though. I do feel like that sometimes. I'm six days away shut from up. retirement. I do, y'all. Be like, oh, this shut shit. up. Too old oh. for this shit, son. Oh, I'm gonna kick you in your young balls when I see you. <laughs> but you're gonna miss Dante because you're gonna kick too low because you're gonna assume where the ball should be. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume his balls is where mine are, and I'm gonna just miss the kick. Mad shin, old yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I go all back of the knee. <laughs> so, so speaking of that, precise. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yo, uh, friend of the family's got a um little shit you know, going on. Corey got some shit going on, and we figured we, uh, you know, do what we do. Do what we do. So, how's the relationship going, Corey? What's going on with that? Because uh, like, I look jacked today. What the fuck is wrong with me? God damn! <laughs> is this the preciseness we were talking about? Dante is like, I make precise pronouncements, and then less than a minute later, man, I'm looking swole. That's funny. Damn, push ups like- is working out. Shit. <laughs> I did three push-ups this month. Thank you. <laughs> girl push-ups. I did three girl push-ups this month. Thank you. On the knees. On anyway, the knees. I'm sorry. <laughs> Again, precise. <laughs> precise, guys. Precisely. Go ahead, Corey. Tell me Corey, what's going on. What's going on with the relationship? I think it's different than the last time you were on the show, right? You've been in a yeah. couple of years. Yeah, I've been in so- this one. It's. It's over a year now. It's not not a couple of years. It's just it hit a year. Damn, it's already over. November. <laughs> hit a year. Oh boy. No, but you know, it's it's just that I it's I've learned at this point now that it's just like I don't have to tell her everything. I don't have to overshare every any share 
could be an overshare. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm talking about this. Oh, I'm talking about this. But if I, if I, if I answer this question the way it should be answered, I'll probably get her mad at me. So I decide that I'll go, all right, I'm not going to, because she's, she, she's very like, she's very like particular in her ignorance, like very like she's straight edge. So she judges anybody who's not like, okay, if you're not into the band she's into, if you're not into like, it's, it's, it's like, if you're, if you're in, if you get high or something, she's like automatically like, Hmm. Mm, very judgmental to any, some extent. Anything and, that, and and why are you with this woman? <laughs> she's the hottest girl I've ever met in my life. Oh, oh that's damn. really <laughs> not good. See, here's that's the thing, really... Corey. First of all, your first mistake, just in general, is you always want to start with the positives and then break down the flaws. You went okay. right into you did it ass backwards. Okay. You go take take uh, two. Yeah, take two. <laughs> take two. But the, the, here's, the, here's the problem. Here's the problem. Just. For a little bit. First of all, there's nothing about a, if you describe a person like that to me, mm. there's nothing about them I like. Yeah. Mm. You said judgmental. You said uh, very particularly. Mm. You said dumb, <laughs> specifically dumb or specifically ignorant. So like when you think about somebody being ignorant, dumb, judgmental, right? What? Her ass fat though, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is where guys get, get in trouble. That's that she on the bad, right side. Though. She bad. On the <laughs> left side of the Super shoulder is, fat though, bro. is Dante's on the left side going all the problems. Then Andre pops in on the right <laughs> side, go, yo, son, that ass though. You see yeah. them yams in this? <laughs> Their friends like what you what you gonna do? And he was like, I think I'm gonna go with the '90s detective dude. Yeah, <laughs> he's got a mustache, so he must have wisdom. He got a badge. He gotta know something, right? I know a little something. You feel me? You saw his badge? No, but I mean, he, he got he got a, a cop mustache. So, like, first, what's blaring to me, and this happens every time I do, anytime I do a consultation, they the dude starts talking, and he, he does the first sentence, and I'm like, ah, stop, 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 stop. So, what do you like about her? Honestly, I, when it's just Nothing. her and me, <laughs> when it's just us together, she's so loving towards me. She's so, like, she's very affectionate towards me, and, like, it's it's very she's very sweet to me and she's she she does some she does things that uh that other girls haven't done for me like what um she, she ate your ass huh ding 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 but I I just did this is this is my first time I'm speaking about it publicly. I just did get a bidet for Christmas. Okay. <laughs> attachment thing for my toilet. And like and it's like the that coolest. Start, that started the train nervous. rolling in your mind. Nervous. That's that's the little domino that starts and then six <laughs> months from now this is the ass eating festival. Little water in your ass and make you think about it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> like today is a good day. Little little hose splashing, little hose down in the booty hole. Change it's a new day, yes, it it is. It's a change the whole game. Like I feel like killing myself. Maybe yeah. not. Maybe <laughs> not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Splash. So, maybe not. So it's, cool. it's a new level of clean, man. It makes you feel <laughs> like cleaner than instead of like taking a gross poop and then being like, you know what? I'm gonna jump in the shower now. You mm. just you just take care of that shit. I be laughing at the people that shit so hard that they got to shower their body. What the fuck happened to you? <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey, man, it you happens from time to time. So right? hard. You like, nigga, I got to clean my soul. My yeah. spirit feel dirty. <laughs> Andre, you ever you ever watch the, one of those videos where they drop a Mentos in a Coke bottle? Oh, my goodness. I mean, like, that's what kind have of... you eaten? You know, man, this is like you asking need fiber, a fiber, bro. Fiber. You musty. You look. You come out like you worked out. <laughs> <laughs> you stretching your hamstrings out, like yo, looking like Usain Bolt in the starting blocks. You can't do that. <laughs> Not all of a shit. I, I mean, it's unfortunate, man. It happens. It goes down, Andre. <laughs> it's it's never planned. It's never planned. 
but it I goes had, down. I had shit trauma. Like, <laughs> in what sense and why? Well, when I used to go to Catholic trauma. school, and if you try to take a shit in the Catholic school, I don't know if you, Andre might have, if they see the feet, right? Niggas used to take toilet paper oh. and wet, wet the toilet paper up and throw it over the top and be water coming up. Yeah, and be yeah, kicking yeah. It. Trying to kick the door in, right? And you be holding on the door, and motherfuckers be kicking it. Be like, yo, get him, get That's him, get all him. junior high school shit. But junior high school, do not go inside of a fucking stall because we <laughs> beaming you, nigga. <laughs> yo, if you, did you guys want to stall, but it, it does. It, there's no escape from it because even if you're just using the urinal and you're just pissing. While you're doing it, someone's gonna come up and push you from behind, so you're push you in. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. That, that 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 used to happen in middle. But I didn't think of that as bullying. I just thought that is like kids being. That's shit funny. Yeah, yeah it's not. Yeah, it's no, not what bullying, I'm saying, but... I said I had shit from so I, like I went through, so I would not take no shit at school. So, so then you know how when you take it, you 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 gotta go, but you don't go. And then, because you didn't go, now you don't have to go. Now you all jammed up. It's day four, right? You already <laughs> a Thursday. You feel like you feel like uh like you got that head strap like Vader. Remember the nigga? Oh, <laughs> Remember Vader? Shit, <laughs> big man Vader. Big <laughs> man Vader, where they tighten your head. You got a headache and feel like your head is strapped. There's a belt around your head. It's Friday. You come on, bomb. You drop a hammer. <laughs> but you've been all all this stress going on. <laughs> you got the shit stain because the turtle, the turtle head came out and fucking wrote a little crayon no, like uh, a check. Uh, it was fucking crazy. Either so, that or Dante didn't. Uh, Dante started like doing speed shitting. That's like, it. Dante would like he <laughs> in and shit. out within a minute. So I can take a shit. <laughs> I can take a off, shit. Bro. Take a shit. Wipe, baby wipe, and I'm out before you finish your piss. Believe that. Dante, Dante right. takes with a double, shit, with like, a double courtesy man. flush while I'm back. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm out. So That's anyway, Corey. <laughs> so anyway. Corey, you got a bidet. Um, <laughs> yeah, so, dude. Okay, so wait, going back to the your Going girl back, thing. the thing is, you're leading off with all of these horrible qualities of this person. Well, well, <laughs> hey, let me say something. Okay. You ever heard it said the thing of a broken clock is right twice a day? Right. So I understand if you, you know, you're talking to me. She does things that I've ne that she's never done for me before. Mm -hmm. You're going. I um. She, when she's with me and it's just me and her. It's a, how often is it just you and her? I mean, it is on the on the pandemic, but I mean, how often would it be you and just you and her? Well, nowadays it's just the weekends because we both work through the week, so it's been just the weekends lately, and it's cool. I mean, I get you know, I get. But I'm saying it, this, you're you've already have identified, and, and Andre, you've heard this. We've talked about shit. Harry, y'all have seen me do consultations. What, what is the thing that comes to your head? The first thing that comes to my head is you lead off with what a horrible person he, she is. And then you throw bail money because you don't because she's so bad. You don't want to leave. And then because she's so bad, you don't want to leave. You're like, now you got to you have in your head because you're doing the math. You got to justify why you're there. And say, so oh, da -da -da -da. then you got to. Cherry pick all the good shit. Right, right. Am I wrong or am I not wrong? I mean, I, I, I do, I do fully see how you get that impression. I, and I, I, fu I fully acknowledge that. Like Harry and I were texting about like a relationship issues or anything like, like a week ago, and I was just like, that was what I responded to. So I was just, I guess, more speaking more personally to. The conversation that Harry and I were having in the okay. Now you see, you're proving my point. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Doing backflips. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you, but the question is then, uh, then the for me as as a person who's trying to get you through this, I ask myself, uh, the first, you're doing backflips. I could go back to the point, or I could say, why is he doing backflips? Right. Why is this so this such an important thing for you to identify that? No, no, no. She's a great girl. Right. Now, right. I have a if I, I but you got to understand something. I don't have no dog in this fight. Right. right? Mm -hmm. And so if I just if I had told you if, if you didn't know Andre and I said, let me tell you, I don't, you got to meet my man, Andre. Right. And you're like, oh, oh, well, why would we get a lot on a lot? We get along good. And I go, nah, she she judges people. Right. She's super judgmental. And, and I go and you go, well, well, why is she judgmental? Well, she kind of is just very specific about and she doesn't look she looks at people funny and she makes she demeans people. And you go, well, do, maybe we could uh, we, maybe we like the same things. And and I go, nah, nah, Andre is just a dude. He just he's dumb but only specifically dumb like he's <laughs> just dumb and corn you know what i'm saying and that Small and i just and i there. described him as that yeah you would probably go i don't want to meet that i'm good right and that, and, but and then that, if you tell him i got crazy abs though <laughs> <laughs> now i'm the nigga to hang out with you feel me it's like some stockholm yeah i get i get what you're saying but when I when I do say the other stuff, the uh, the there's the important things like I'm I'm 37. Right. I don't have kids. I don't want kids. I don't. I know this girl doesn't have kids, doesn't want kids, is young, doesn't want to get married, doesn't worry about that kind of stuff. I don't worry about that kind of stuff. But every other girlfriend I've had is like, where are we at? Let's do this. Let's move on. And I'm like, oh, I don't want that. Like that doesn't align with my values and where I want to go and what I want to do. That's fine, but you you got to understand too. Mm -hmm. It are you on the same page or does she just not like you enough to push in that direction? No, she that's that's something she said before we ever even like I knew that about her before I ever like took the step. And the other thing is like she's also an entertainer, like she's a she's a comic and she's an actor. So we're like on sets together and like we go do, do sets together. Yeah, but I don't understand. What do you mean? You do comedy together. Yeah. Yeah. And then like, uh, does she think you're funny? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think she's funny? Not really, but I mean, All right, like, fair <laughs> enough. Good but, point. But the, thing, the thing is that, like my style of comedy is like, I'll write down a premise and I'll, and I'll like, Go, go to a go to a mic or I'll host a mic and I'll just kind of like like throw these out and see how they work. Yeah. And she has to have it all like memorized word for word. Right. How it's right. Go. Just, just like she just like she treats the relationship. So pe people ain't people aren't people aren't one thing in right. one place and not something in some. I mean, I'm not saying that we don't have dimensions, but I'm saying if, if you're a person who's tight and, and tight won't, and, but, but you got to, and, and a control freak, there's always a reason why somebody's a control freak. People want to control everything and people around them because they feel out of control. And mm -hmm. so by controlling everything around them, it makes them more comfortable. But the it's really a selfishness in a sense that you're not first of all, you're not even paying attention to reality. And all you want to do really is bend my will so that you can feel comfortable. Now, I'm not saying that's a conscious thought process, but it that's a it's a selfish perspective. I mean, you would agree with that, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I, I definitely think that a lot of it comes from the fact that she just doesn't have perspective because she is inexperienced. Like she's just younger. And how old is she? You know, she's. 31 or something. Yeah, dog. She, you know, I mean, then, look, if she's if she's if you have said she's 15, I would have got angry, but I would have been like, OK, mm -hmm. but you got to understand it, that that um, you have to pick 15. That complicates it so much. You can't pick that I get the point you're trying to make. It makes things real weird. It makes real my point complicated. Is, my my, my then, point is, she's you know, look, she, she is who she you would is. You understand if be. she was younger. Yeah, yeah. At the at the root, she is who she is. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Look, I mean, yeah. there's there's actions, there's things that we do at twenty, you know, that we you know kind of can grow out of. But a lot of shit is we are 
who we are and then we just become a little more refined so at, at the base level so and don't get me wrong i understand pe when people are in when people are control freaks and they're insecure because they they feel out of control or there's been some kind of trauma so I'm going to control everything around me. Everything needs to be ordered because when it's not ordered, I, 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 I'm out, I feel like I'm out of control and I feel vulnerable. But mm -hmm. in, the, in, in that obsession, there's no concern about how you feel. There's no empathy in that. And I'm not saying that she's not empathetic. What I'm saying is in that action is a direct, reflection of her insecurity right. so she's out of control but it's still selfish whether she's out of control or not does that that make sense to you yeah it's it's not a it's not as much of a, a conscious selfishness it's a subconscious uh selfishness you know. <laughs> a, sub yeah. a subconscious selfishness yeah. so so but if it but i'm always you know it always is interesting to me because if it's manifesting itself in in real ways mm -hmm. um, in the relationship, then it, like nothing is nothing. No one thing makes me understand what it is. It's a combination of everything. So if you had said to me, if you had started off when I asked you about this girl and you told me all the great qualities that she is, mm -hmm. then I, okay, then we're past the first bar. But when you start off with the negative, yeah. Then what do we say? What what are you inferring? I mean, yeah. what do you think that infers? Um, yeah, I I definitely um, hmm. I had this this thing I was saying to uh, Lucas. You, you, yeah, I know Lucas. Lucas. Yeah, you guys know Lucas. Uh, he was like on um, he was on like Tinder and all that stuff, and he he had on his profile like uh, on the autism spectrum Tourette's. I'm like, why are you leading with your damage? Don't lead um. with your damage. And I, I kind of just led with the damage right there, which but I, but, but, but there's a reason why you the cell phone thing. There's <laughs> a reason. But if I, like if you had just met her, right. if you had just met her, right. um, and I said, yo, Corey, what's up? And you go, yo, I met this smoking chick. Really? I just met this. And, you, and then you would describe describe how beautiful she is. Right. You would lead with that because it's all you have. Right. And 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 so it's all good. Right. Then in the course of a relationship, when I ask you, yo, tell me about your girl, you and you lead with the negative, it's because the negative is superseded. Like she's more of a pain in the ass than she is hot. Oh boy, that face. Well, Corey, look, let me ask you this. What are the positives that you like about her? Let's talk about that. I'm curious, what are the things that you do really like about her? Because I'm assuming you're with her, not because there's negatives, that, that is nothing but negatives, that you led with the damage. What's the good stuff that you like about her? Big old booty. She, what? She hot. Big old booty. Yo. Big old booty. She's hot. Smoking hot. Yeah, that, that's, that's like, it's, she's definitely like the hottest girl I'd ever met in my life. Hey. I'd say, like, I... Yeah, that's, I met that's her. dangerous, dog. A, that already is dangerous. Damn, his eyes got big as fuck. Yeah, like, like it's. Listen, okay, hey, uh, being honest here, okay? <laughs> <laughs> no, I met, I met her. I met her on the set of a Halle Berry movie. Like, she's an actor. I'm an actor. So, is it Halle Berry? Because this would explain a lot. <laughs> whole time Halle Berry. You're not the first person to describe Halle Berry this way. It's a crazy bitch. Yeah, if Dave Justice, he would have he would have described her the same way. <laughs> yes, it was. It was Hall this is Halle Berry. She's my girlfriend the whole time. Yeah, I should have buried the lead on that one. Yeah, <laughs> you're leading in the. You're always going in the wrong order, Corey. You got to give it to us straight. All right. So again, what are the things you like about her? Like um, uh, she's unique. Like she's okay. like nobody else. She's got such a. She's got such a perspective on on some things that are so. She got, she got two vaginas. <laughs> no. No, nothing magically you her perspective is so unique in what way jolly. tell me more tell me i want to know dante i can't understand you with the second jolly rancher that you put your you know the, here you knew the terminology you know what i was saying i know what you're saying Corey, talk to me <laughs> for the love of god so she she's got she's got a way of breaking down things so like sometimes it's like she's like 
Occam's razor on some things. Like she'll just get right to what the logical answer must be. And then like looks at it that way. Is, and you don't, you don't do that. No, I, I, I mean, I always search for like the bit and everything. That's like, but I mean, you, you don't, you're not a logical person. I, I wouldn't call myself illogical. You're like, oh, help me. I don't know what to do. I have a ponytail. Somebody help me. Is that what you, are you a logical dude? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm a man. I'm I'm out here doing man shit. Isn't that what? But, uh, right, but in, in don't men, for the most I part, I mean, that logic is part of being a man, right? Right. Yeah. So, I guess what I'm saying is, if you if you already do that. If you already are logical and get right to the point, what's reliant? What's what am well, I? What's the what's the advantage? What's the advantage? Do you know what I mean? Oh, maybe like, you thinking it's like this. The advantage is I could I could reason with her the same way I can reason with men since she's a logical. Well, manly, I, I might like, I might actually be able to have a conversation yeah, I with can her. Just, I can just maybe. Discuss. I because can actually have a conversation. Logical. She gets right logical down the middle. Because she gets it. Fucking right down the middle. Right. Mm. She she gets it. Yeah. She, like she, she gets it better than you and your boy. Nah. But I mean, some stuff I can. Closer. Closer than any woman's ever do come to. Sometimes. It. What, what, what I don't think you I don't think what I don't think you understand is you. You. you so wherever you are on this right now. Um, you're emotionally there, right? Because there's, I think there's an obviousness of this that w is where my sarcasm is coming from. Harry, no, are you, are you me? I'm snatching for, you don't no, understand where it. I'm going with it, what I, I'm saying? I get what you're saying. I mean, I get what the whole, the concept of it is starting from the beginning. I mean, you're painting a picture. You're asked to paint a picture. And when you paint the picture, it doesn't look so rosy. And oh, and we we like Corey, so we want to warn him when we see the yeah, warning yeah. signs. Like I don't, we see I, don't, I don't give a fuck about your girl. I mean, that's your girl. Yeah. But you're my boy, and so when so if I say, tell me, tell me what's going on, and 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 you paint this picture that is like, and then I and and because I'm objective, I'm looking at it and I'm going, where's the good in this? And then and now I'm and I'm asking the question and because you are emotionally attached to where you are and not really ready to see what it is in the moment. Right. What you're doing is you're searching for ways to make this shitty picture look better. Yeah. Well, so you 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 put and you put you adding in because it's it's obvious to you. It's a crazy thing. I remember my 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 um. My sister was dating a dude and the dude was a dirtbag. He played like he was her friend and he was he was he was her. He was also a best friend of her boyfriend. And he she you know, he he scammed in and took all the information. And then my go my goofy sister was like, you know, he just knows me so well. Yeah, but you've been telling him everything for the last two years while you was with your dude confiding in uh, you you know on, and then he used that information on the side so what i'm i'm saying is and my mom said if you marry this dude i'm not coming to the wedding and i said and, and i and i told my mom i go look the more you resist this the more we're not going to see the respect i said invite him to thanksgiving dinner and so but he was already so disrespectful and because he 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 was in the in the you know in the in the realm of the whole family, we didn't have to say anything. He knew what it looked. My sister knew what it looked like as he was disrespectful to her in front of everybody. We as a family, we didn't. Nobody said, "Hey, don't do that." It's none of our business. But she knew it. Look, she knew that she deserves better than that. And so when we're talking about this, you adding in the stuff when you don't lead with the good stuff, it's it, it kind of says where the relationship is. Mm -hmm. And we can't and let know, that I, go I, by, Corey. We care about you difficult. too much to allow. Like, I understand that's difficult, but I'm saying I get she's smoking hot, but her being smoking hot is not it ain't going to it's, it's not going to be able to balance. 
And by the way, Court, this is not how we wanted to do this show, by the way, but it was such a, a glaring thing. So I don't want you to think that I brought you on here to go, let's beat the fuck out of Corey. No, you're I'm my not, boy. And I'm not, but well, he's something but the that's honest, so The honest Corey's I mean, a, a good speed. dude. Yeah, honest Corey, Corey is, is good such dude. a good dude. Like, you, you can't deserve. Help but be honest. Yeah. I mean, look I, at how honest Corey is. This is going to get you killed. I'm not go- never going to rob a bank with Corey. I can't do it. You're too <laughs> goddamn honest. He opened, he did the most honest thing you could. How's your girl? I mean, she, you know, there's some this problems, bitch. But, but, but she does be, have a fat be, ass. But, but, this is but like she's, liar, liar. She's hot, though. You, you feel like liar, liar. <laughs> <laughs> She does indeed have a fat ass. You're right. We never said fat ass. Andre said fat ass. Andre said Andre, fat. <laughs> Corey just said she, he's the hottest chick he's ever uh, been with. With you, son. And in Andre and everyone, it's their own illusion. And well, Andre immediately Andre went. Andre Brown, Andre Brown, the premise up. <laughs> you know? Chick with some nice book. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, dog. I mean, you got to, you got to. Here, but the reason, one of the reasons what we, you know, as men, what we do is we go. Okay, this is what, oh, this woman is attractive. And we value that in such a way, right, that we don't, because the things that are, the things that are really important, I mean, if you think about the things that are really important is, is we talk about this all the time, truth, authenticity, credibility, keeping your word, and empathy, being able to see what the other person is going through to kind of have, so, but. Like you have you. I know you, Corey, and you possess all those things, but you will devalue them to nothing because she's hot. And when you think about it, she didn't earn the hotness. She just showed up hot. You know, what I mean, like this is this. I earned this hotness. I I get it. I get it. I get it. But that's even more so. So the point my point is, (laughs) you deserve better than that. You know, now, you what, can shouldn't Corey, ha- what can Corey do? Because I think he, you know, to him, she's a good woman. I don't know her, so I can't say she's not. So let's go on that premise that she is a good woman, but she has these tendencies because she's hot. How do you maintain and manage that and keep that quelled down? Because you can do that because I've been with with women sure. who who come in with a certain energy because they believe that they're it's acceptable and you're able to just, if you stick to your values and your principles, you can manage that to a degree. Uh, uh, Corey wanted to say, you want to yeah. say something? Can I, can I say that, like, things have improved tons. And I have, to, I have to say that a lot of the credit for that goes to Harry. Because Harry's been, Harry's been there to say, like, Harry's been there to give me examples and show me, like, yo, uh, this is what I want. And if what you want doesn't line up with what I want, Fuck you then. Do your shit. And I, I kind of. And it's I, not even. It's not even. Fuck you. It's. It's yeah. fair enough. It's like yeah. I'll go do my thing. Yeah. Cause you're not even. You shouldn't even be mad about the fact that you okay. guys are different. You know. How did your last relationship end, Corey? Oh. Okay, I was in an open relationship. Okay. And uh, I've been there. She was like. She was all. She was like. Oh, you know, I want us to have an open relationship because, like. I kind of want to date this girl and like also. Well, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> a good way to approach it. That's a good sell right there. But you were with her. You were dating her already. And then yeah, she decided, yeah. though. OK, so here's another here's another another man school rule. When your woman comes home and says we should have an open relationship, it's because she wants to fuck other people. It's not because she's not in her mind. She's not going. You know what? I love my man so much. And I feel like. I feel like, you know, I just want to bring him more women. I want to give him more opportunities to have sex because he deserves it. Mm. That is never the thought process. The part, thought process. Oh, I, you always had this way, little less, lesbian they wanna, twitch. Not only, me. not only they want to fuck somebody else. There's already they're, somebody there. They're, they're pro- <laughs> there's somebody, either somebody's in line at, or it's already happening. Pack your bags. Time to go. Mm. It's only a matter of time. So, Corey, what happened with that? Sorry. And by the way, this is uh, sorry. One second. Corey. This is not meaning threesomes. That's a different thing right, entirely. Right. Correct, Dante? It Just to, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. We you know, we were together for like four years and then we broke up for like two. Right. And then when we were getting back together, when we talked about getting back together, we discussed open stuff because um, 
she's too tight for me and it would hurt her oh wow that's so, another good reason i'm a little, That's angry, to, I'm, I'm a little angry the way Corey slipped in that he has a big hog yeah. see how he slipped that under the but wire you know, but you know Trey, you missed that <laughs> but under liar liar rules we believe Corey. Corey is gotta absolutely believe telling the truth, the the truth. Corey, for good or worse is not able to tell a lie apparently <laughs> so the I fact that like he mentions it i don't want to be a braggy person i'm uh, being as humble as possible I yeah. got you. I, I got you. But I just wanted to show the artfulness of you sliding that in the conversation. Yeah. I've been, I was thinking of this bit and the best place to, to talk about this bit would be with you guys, because you might think it's kind Fair of enough. interesting. Uh, oh, we'll but, help you work on your dick joke. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to tell. I don't want to tell it. Dick, the audience <laughs> totally relates to this big will, dick this jokes. Is, this is a man school two hundred two exclusive. <laughs> I'll never tell this story again. But uh, the the first night, the first night, me and me and this current girl were gonna have sex. Uh -huh. I, I stopped at the grocery store. I bought a pack of Magnums. Uh -huh. And then she didn't make me use them, so I didn't. Right. <laughs> wow. And I was like, I was like, you know. I was like, I'm pretty broke. I could use that 12 bucks back. But returning a box of Magnums to the grocery store, they're like, oh, I see. You want to change the first month. So I, <laughs> you don't like, want no, to no, be I confused. I just want my 12 bucks back. <laughs> <laughs> These were too baggy on me. You got anything slimmer? You got a slim cut? You got anything slim about that? You guys have slim fit? <laughs> Trout waders. Like, um, Where do you guys keep those little thumb? Those, yeah, those thumb things that go over the fingers. Where do you keep those? Oh man, it just uh, uh you know, it's a, it's a. You, but you said you, it was an open relationship. You discussed that. What, what, what broke y'all up in the first place? So, um, the, the, um, her, she was also very particular. And here's the thing, man. I think I date too many girls that have both their parents. My best relationship <laughs> have worked out with girls who were raised by one parent. When girls mm. have two parents, they're a cocky little bitch. <laughs> they have you mean all that confidence and self-esteem yeah, all that self-esteem <laughs> like i need to find someone it's me bring that to the table Man, I, i'm oh, dating shit. only orphans yeah i want i'm <laughs> only i get the orphan list comes out in the back of backstage <laughs> Corey's like looking farmers only dot com is like <laughs> orphans only dot com <laughs> Yo, Corey is, Corey's it's looking. a hard lock knife <laughs> it's a hard knock life I like lock Volume night. Two. Uh, but uh, he is a, you know, it's a weird thing because if you, you're, I feel like you're going in with a lack of confidence. It's almost like you're happy to be there. Oh. Um, and the reason why you're happy to be there is because I don't think that you really understand what your value is. And, and I think over and over again, we look at, you know, people think value is, money and prestige and all of this stuff but when it but you know it's something that i've been thinking about for a while is that all of that all of that shit would coming from a shady dude you know what i mean you got if you got a six pack you, you got a six pack and come gutters but you 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 trying to fuck her mom it don't matter how fit you are like you gotta, you gotta. There's this integrity is more important than anything else. Credibility and and truth and somebody that can count on you and and somebody who's kind. But it's funny how how so rarely we come across people in our life in the world that are that way. But and so we know it's rare because we, you don't get that from a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But yet and still we we f act like it has no value. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Like you being a kind dude, you being a generous dude, you doing being a loyal dude is worth more than a a a six figure dude. And I'm I'm not saying you don't. I don't know if you have six figures or not, but I'm just saying it's just a regular dude. So it it's a it's a weird thing how we we put this value on certain things that we think arbitrarily have that value until the chips are down. You know, you go if you go, I, my chick is hot. She's a Victoria's Secrets model. And then I go, yeah, but sometimes she sleeps with my dad. Like, I'm I'm like, <laughs> it don't matter how hot she is. Right. Yeah, Me and yeah. my dad don't get down and, like and that. And the, ir the irony also, I would say, is that uh, the way you lose a girl like that is not like 
you know, standing your ground with things. So if there's issues and like we talk about setting your non-negotiables and you constantly negotiate, uh, negotiate them, mm-hmm. like you're going to end up losing that girl eventually. I'm not speaking specifically towards you, Corey. But I'm just saying right. you know, just, a lot of people yeah. who put put hot chicks on a pedestal. And the irony is, if you really want to keep her, you got to like, you know, M- let me tell you something a that's, little bit. Uh, that's that right there is hotter than Andre's abs. That he that Andre will go, nah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like if it's some shit he don't want, it, nah, I'm, nah. Nah, I'm good. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm good. Is the is the great? It's a great. Sometimes he don't even do. He just do this. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, he'll, uh, he'll shake it off like a pitcher with the wrong <laughs> sign. Like, <laughs> mm. no, no, no. We're gonna curve. No curve. And because because he's he's basically saying, I'm important. Like I what didn't I even bring think about it, I would feel like I was just being honest. Yeah, like, but I didn't but... really think about like how it would work. You know, like a girl would tell a joke or try to be funny on a date, and if it wasn't actually funny, I'd just be like, "Yo, that was bad, shorty. That was <laughs> fucking terrible, <laughs> yo." There, there's no, there's no, um, there's no filter on like that for you on anything. I can, I already, t- yeah. I can tell just from. Just from like being on the show and then like listening to a couple of the shows is you'll 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 apply that to everything. Yeah, like, sure. Know. And that's the way it should be, yeah. though. That's the way yeah, you no. should approach life is applying it to everything. It's the way at work, the way people want to talk to you. If you people treat you the way you allow them to treat you and they will set up that environment even when just weird things like in at work. If you ever ever had somebody who's a coworker, but they start talking to you like they're a supervisor that's a thing that will happen right yeah and it's up to you whether or not you tolerate that you know because if you shut that down right away then you don't have to worry about it at all now but a lot of times you won't shut it down because you'll be like oh i want to beat you know I want to smash, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna just let that slide. Let's roll it into the the garage, and then we we work all that out of that. But then you never come to a time where you work that out, mm-hmm. and you've already violated your boundaries, and so it now is reckless. Now you're coming home, going, well, what do I say? Do I say this? Or should I respond to this? And whereas if you respond honestly to honest things, the first time she gets upset then your your conversation should be look if you don't want the truth i mean we're in a relationship if you want the i'm going to give you the truth if you don't want the truth about something don't ask me right because my integrity is more important than your feelings so if it's something that you don't think you got the you got the hustle to, to you know you ain't got the you know the thick thick enough skin to deal with it then don't ask me hey dante let me ask you uh, like a specific question about like the difference between at times allowing somebody to vent versus trying to fix the problem because you can get caught up in that where sometimes women it's a balancing act because they don't want necessarily the problem to be solved but sometimes they want to vent and how do you navigate that well because i, I ask, <laughs> straight up be like yo right. you want this i, I mean fix? Or you want to share right now? I, I, oh, and I do. I, you know what? And I, I do that. I do that too. If you just ask, I'm, I'm like, why am I trying to? Is it like? Here's my thing. Is it reasonable? Is it reasonable for me to have to figure out what's going on in your head? And if somehow I ask you, if you're offended because I asked you, if you're offended because of the fact that I'm going, you are important enough for me to ask what is the best way to 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 please you. And for that's not good enough. What you want me to do is to be able to Sherlock Holmes it through. Hmm. Is that reasonable? Is that a reasonable ask? Do you want to just hear that sucks or do you want to hear what I think? Right, 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 right. And I mean, and I think if you ask that, I think even taking asking those things and just going, being able to ask those questions says it says something about your own personal confidence. Because, you know, somebody who's scary, like especially a hot, real smoking hot girl, she she's never heard. No, there's so many guys lying and giving her 
Super Bowl tickets and mm, you know that's what I'm my saying? favorite. <laughs> Buying them cake. By the way, Super Bowl is uh, would have just have happened <laughs> if you get a chance to watch the Super Bowl. My favorite shot in all the Super Bowl, and I've talked about this before. It's my favorite thing when they cut into the owner's box at the Super Bowl. Who's in the owner's box? Owner of the football team, probably celebrity, celebrities, former Will Hall Smith. of Famer, former Hall of Famer, former member of the team who's now in the Hall of Fame, former Super Bowl winner, and then always to the bottom left, there's just a hot chick. Just not a famous hot around. chick, just a hot chick. Just and smoking that's, hot. And we Makes give that famous. That's how you get into the uh, the owner's box. You can do all those accomplishments or you could just be hot. And we allow that. And then that's the problem. It's like we just kind of allow it. And that's the value. And it causes them to think their vagina is worth the same as a fifty thousand dollar Super Bowl ring. Well, that's why we got to do is we got to read it. Like GameStop, their attractiveness. We got to read it. We got to lower the value all at once. <laughs> all at once. <laughs> Try to short. We got to short. Gonna... <laughs> we got to short the beauty. <laughs> we got to short these bitches. We got to. We got to short these. Got to short your good bring looks. Them, mom. Bring them down to a six. Buy in, and then they go right. Then buy we build in, up their self esteem, and then bankrupt the whole game. I'm bankrupting the whole mutual fund. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> We got to lower the value, buy low. Ugly then, girls wearing short skirts, running around. Fat girls with midriffs, just belly out. It's going crazy. <laughs> Look, if we could all unite as men and just for one week, just fuck all the fat. You got a game stop that thing. <laughs> for a week, it would fuck the minds of the hot chicks up. If we just got oh, all the bouncers involved and said, sorry, you can't. We got to all we got to fuck nothing but twos and threes. Didn't like any of the Instagram posts. I'm just saying for maybe a couple of days that would change the fucking dynamic. I not mean, even fours, not even fours. Twos and threes work, bro. Got to do it. Got to do it. This it would is work for three son, days. What are you talking you about? We just Andre? saw it happen. GameStop. <laughs> Yeah, they Game can't stop <laughs> Bro, there's it already work. proof that twos and threes is getting what they need to get. They got mm. kids and all kinds of shit. <laughs> we just true. not fucking them on the outside. Now we, well, that's what shoot. we got to do. We got to like take an ugly girl in the movies. That in I, maybe that if y'all, if y'all take gotta, ugly we, women out. We well, put, it, take put a much. tie or you got to put a tie on and then make all the pretty chicks be like, nah, I'm gonna just hit it from the back. <laughs> if you switch their roles, maybe that could work. That's and what we, I'm saying. You got to pull her chair out. We got to get and Andre, not pull it out or like all the way out. Like, but you know what? It's, for them it's to fall not, down. though, because ugly girls, they already singing Beyonce. They feel just as bad as the this bad is, shorty. No, no, so you're misunderstanding. They no, no, faking Andre. it, son. They faking it. You're not understanding. This is not about the esteem of the ugly girls. This no. is about lowering the esteem like of the hot break, girls. It's like breaking I think the they're going to join forces, bro. Nah, see, girls, join for forces? Are you crazy? How long is that going to last? You ever, you, you ever hear John Mulaney he goes, <laughs> he goes, John Mulaney goes, you can't have an Ocean's Eleven with all women because <laughs> two of them oh, would I love spend how the you can just wear anything. <laughs> yeah. Two of them would spend the entire time talking shit about the other nine <laughs> or whatever, and like just passive aggressive comments. I don't know. It's a strategy, Andre. We're, we're out here trying something. We're we going to GameStop this shit. All we got to do is one post on Twitch. The problem is we got to keep Corey involved. Corey might be the <laughs> slip on this. He goes, man. I feel like Corey will sell out. He go right to the hot girls. Yo, psst. yo, let me you're gorgeous. You got <laughs> and you know he's not lying. She knows. I know he's not lying. He can't tell a lie. Corey Castle doesn't lie. <laughs> Corey Castle's the most honest man we've ever met. <laughs> yo, uh. Corey, let's plug your stuff, man, and we're gonna go behind the Patreon wall and 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 chill out for a little more, we'll talk a little deeper, get into some technique and stuff. Go, what you got for me? Something, something I constantly say, and please, please apply this. If you got, if you guys want to use it for your show, I always say, anybody who's ever spent any amount of time listening to me, and like the the effort that you spent, that currency means more than your dollars. So I appreciate that currency so much being spent on me. Of course, bro. So, plug your stuff. Plus, plug your social media. We're going to do check out, behind check the paywall, out, right? At Corey Castle, C-O-R-Y-K-A-S-T-L-E. My podcast, new episodes drop every Monday on Spotify. 
evolving with Corey Castle. That's W slash instead of the word with. Mm -hmm. And uh, just just follow me on all that stuff and subscribe. Make sure make sure you tell all your friends. And uh, you know, if if you're going through some stuff, talk to me about it. I'm not hard to get hold of, and I'd be happy to be your friend. All right, give it up, Corey. Uh, Harry, talk to me. Uh, you could go. No, don't I always do. I'm hot. Yo, Dre, go go ahead. Andre first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doesn't matter, man. Andre D. Thompson on all of the medias and the socials of things. Uh, I, Andre D. Thompson. That's it, man. That's and your it. podcast. Don't forget your podcast. No, no, no. I'm still fumbling around. Okay, fair enough. However, fair enough. Fair enough. If you type my name, everything will be found. There Thank we go. Uh, Andre D. Thompson. I Andre, sir. what does the D stand for this week? Because we established it's not dumb. <laughs> Andre, the smart dude. You got to find uh, new things for the D to stand for every week. Devonshire. Devonshire, Andre Devonshire is a place. It's uh, a place. I don't know if it's fictional or real because I can't tell with uh, England. I'm gonna need I think you, it's supposed to be like a character. Like a dude, I'm going like to like, I'm gonna need you to make a better effort than that. For the next <laughs> show. It was quick. I, didn't I did throw nothing. him on the spot. I did improv. That's the last thing I, I, I had in my brain. I, I, did, I, I did violate right, the worst enough. rule of improv, which is to ask somebody a question and then throw it on Andre to do his own bit. <laughs> I did do that. So that's on me. I got to take the L on that. I, I, what I did was I took the ball and I chucked it out of bounds because I thought Andre was going to be there. And that's not Andre's fault. Andre no, was you, right. you threw it off his knee. That's what you did. <laughs> I was just like, what the, what? What happened? <laughs> Going this way. Um, and, uh, uh, you could go to my stuff is at Harry Turjanian. Uh, I mean, obviously follow me on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I'm on TikTok now, the whole thing. And the show is on TikTok. But also wow. check out uh, Man School 202 on YouTube and uh, Instagram, Real Man School 202, TikTok, the whole thing. Corey, what's up? One more thing. Uh, hmm. Episode 202 of my podcast, Evolving with Corey Castle, featured Harry Turjanian. Yeah. So if you want to hear Harry on my podcast, check out that episode. Episode number 202, so apropos, like fits that, like the number. There we go. Just so it's just like the, 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 the stars aligned and Harry happened to be available on the day that I was doing my, two, my 200 and second episode. Nice. So, also, sadly, <laughs> my goal weight. What's okay, that? Here now. Okay, uh, first thing, I found out what Devonshire is. Oh, okay. okay. It's illegal cream milk made from England. You can't oh. have that shit. It's illegal. It's oh, illegal. Okay. Something about it's going to kill you. It's unpasteurized. And then the second thing, what is apropos? Appropriate. It's, it's just appropriate. Uh, it's like a, yes, son. What I say? Apropos. Uh, Ap apropos. Yo, Not uh, apropos. I don't want you saying it wrong. <laughs> As a friend, uh, I don't want you. I don't need you running around and go apropos well, trying to you sound smart. Look, you, you you know, this work, this word works better if you don't make that face with yeah. the word. Just a regular uh, face. You can use a regular, you regular face. Apropos. <laughs> yeah, do <laughs> finger guns, Andre. When you do that, it no matter where you are, it looks like you snuck in and you don't belong there, <laughs> even in your own house. Like <laughs> apropos, finger guns. Uh, Dante, your plugs. everything Dante Nero dot com. Uh, everything's on that. You can get a consultation for me, one on one consult. Just go Dante Nero dot com and click consult. Yo, if you like what we're doing here, man, go to the Patreon. Go to the Patreon. Sign up for the Patreon. Help us out, man, so we can keep this shit going. Um, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? Sexual revolution is being podcasted. I love y'all, man. We are out. Man School 202 is created by Dante Nero, hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson, produced by Harry Turjanian, executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Turjanian, and Dante Nero.